Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Welcome back to Spanish Lessons with Professor Jason. Today we're going to focus on the pronunciation of vowel sounds, but not the pronunciation of single or simple vowels, because I've already uploaded a separate video on the basic vowel sounds, right? And how to pronounce them when there are consonants in between each vowel. For example, camisa, amigo, or casa, right? What I want to focus on, on this, in this particular lesson are the vowel combinations how to pronounce two consecutive vowels, right, when you have vowels back to back. Um, and the main question will be, do we pronounce those vowels together in a single syllable? For example, bueno, the u, a are pronounced together, bueno. Or do we separate them out and pronounce the vowel combination in two distinct syllables? As in, for example, boema, the o, a are pronounced separately, boema. So we're going to look at that question. I'm going to provide a couple of rules and bunches of examples so that we'll know when to pronounce two vowels distinctly in separate syllables and when to combine them into a single syllable. Okay, here we go. Okay, so first of all, you may remember that in Spanish we have five vowel sounds, right? They are a, e, i, o, and u. On this slide, I have them divided into so-called strong vowels, a, e, o, and weak vowels, e and u. Okay, this distinction between strong vowels on the one hand and weak vowels is very important because that's basically what determines how to pronounce vowel combinations. In Spanish, when you have two consecutive strong vowels back to back in a word, you're going to want to separate those vowel sounds into two distinct syllables. Here are some examples. Poema, empleado, traer, europeo. And I've underlined the vowel combination that I'm focusing on because, for example, in the word europeo, we have a diphthong at the beginning, eo, but we have a hiatus or vowel separation at the end. Europeo. Now, in contrast, when you have a combination of a strong vowel and a weak vowel, or two consecutive weak vowels, you have a diphthong, or the pronunciation of that vowel combination as a single syllable. Here are some examples. Idioma, farmacia, ciudad, cuidado, pauta, guapo, bueno. Let me repeat those, and again, focus on the underlined portion, how I'm pronouncing that as a single syllable. Idioma, farmacia, ciudad, cuidado, pauta, guapo, bueno. Okay, there are some exceptions to the rule we just talked about, in which when you have a weak vowel, strong vowel combination, or two weak vowels, you would want to combine them. In some cases, you do have that combination, weak vowel, strong vowel, or two weak vowels, but in fact, native speakers separate those into distinct syllables, and that's going to be indicated with a written accent, so it's actually much easier, because the accent tells you that that vowel is a separate syllable. Some examples, tío, policía, caída, reír, miércoles, continuo, which would be the yo form of the present tense of the verb continuar, continuo, okay? Tío, policía, caída, reír, miércoles, continuo. So what we have are situations that would normally call for a diphthong or single syllable pronunciation, but because of the written accent, we know that we should separate those into a hiatus or dual syllable pronunciation. Okay, so we've just taken a look at the rules, the basic rules for pronouncing vowel combinations and plenty of examples. What I'm going to do on the next slide is put up some more examples of words that would apply to different rules that we've just discussed and see if you can pronounce them correctly based on their spelling and the application of the rules we just talked about, okay? So as I put up the slide, you read through them out loud 
and try to pronounce them correctly, and then I'll come back and go over them with you, all right? Here's that slide. Okay, how should we do this? Maybe I'll give you a couple seconds to pronounce each word, and then I'll jump in with my pronunciation and a quick description of why I think they should be pronounced together in a single syllable or separated into two distinct syllables. So, go for the first word. That would be viaje, together in a single syllable, weak vowel, strong vowel. Next, vuelvo, single syllable again, weak vowel, strong vowel. Next, agua, single syllable, weak vowel, strong vowel. Next, aire, single syllable, that's going to be strong vowel, weak vowel. Next, tutear, we're separating now, ar, because of a strong vowel, strong vowel. So, tutear. Next, dia, two distinct syllables because of the written accent. Next, juego, single syllable because of the weak vowel, strong vowel combination. Next, Contraer, we're separating that aer, just like the verb traer that we had in the earlier example. It's a strong vowel, strong vowel combination. Contraer. Next. Heroína. Heroína. We're separating these, this vowel combination because of the written accent. Okay, next one. Deuda. Deuda. Single syllable. Um, strong vowel, weak vowel combination. Next. Pienso. Pienso. Single syllable, weak vowel, strong vowel. Next one. Next one makes me hungry. Barbacoa. Barbacoa. At the end of this word, we're separating that vowel combination into two distinct syllables. Barbacoa because it's a strong vowel, strong vowel combination. As is the next one, hint, hint. Peor, peor, two strong vowels. Next one. Causa, causa. A strong vowel, weak vowel, so a single syllable. Causa. Second to last. Aún. Aún. This means still or yet, the sort of a synonym for todavía, but it has a written accent. Aún. So we're going to separate that strong vowel, weak vowel combination. Unlike in the final word, aunque, aunque. We're combining those two vowels, aunque, because we have a strong vowel, weak vowel combination. Okay, that concludes my presentation on the pronunciation of vowel combinations in Spanish. I hope that you found it to be helpful and useful and cleared up some of the confusion. As always, I welcome your comments, your questions, and suggestions, so please do take a moment out of your time and uh, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought about this video lesson. And uh, this has been Professor Jason. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you at the next lesson. Hasta luego. Ciao.